Come on, Jack. Come on. Boom. It's on. Ready? Here. The project. Tony Brock. issues like racism, sexism, and alcoholism. Wait, no, that's my family reunion, actually. <laughs> that's why I never go home. Every time I visit my family, it's a disaster, okay? Like, I went home for the holidays last December, and my parents decided it'd be a good time to spring it on me that I'm adopted. Yeah, it was the worst Kwanzaa ever. <laughs> Are you guys ready to meet your host? <laughs> yes, let's bring to the stage the man keeps all the tags on his shirts because he says they're easier to return that way. Tony Rock! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Welcome to the Tony Rock Project. I am your host, Tony Rock. Give it up for the lovely and talented Miss Whitney Cummins. <laughs> to call me lovely. That's so nice. No, I did. It was on a teleprompter. Oh. Damn. Speaking of lovely, you know, advertisers use sex to sell everything nowadays. Oh, yeah. And Lord knows I buy me some sex. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Hold on. <laughs> just, just watch the piece. Watch the piece. <laughs> this burger looks good, huh? You'd think the sight of this big, tasty burger would be enough for you to go out and buy it. But no, companies today think you need a big old push. So they hit you over the head with everything from sex to music. Is too much sex and too much music a bad thing? Well, we did our own commercials, and let's see what these focus groups think. Yo, I don't even eat beef. I got a You eat beef? I eat that burger. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't even think my boyfriend would like that. Burger's gonna make my girlfriend do that. I'll, I'll be buying that. The new and improved Colossal Burger. When a regular burger just won't do. How many of you would buy that burger? Yo, I'll eat yeah. <laughs> Tony, are you telling me you would actually buy that burger? Uh, what burger? I didn't even see a burger in that piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That commercial didn't make me hungry. It just reminded me to pick up my birth control pills. Whoa. Did you see the girl that said, I don't even think my boyfriend would buy that burger? Yeah. Translation, I think my boyfriend's gay. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll be right back with more of the Tony Rock Project. We'll go nowhere. Coming up, we put a marketing strategy to the test. Is that something you might like to wear? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Nice, fresh. All right. Well, this one is called fried chicken. Fried chicken. Woo! Fried, 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 fried. And we're back with more of the Tony Rock Project. You know, perfume is like a multi-million dollar business, huh? You know that? You smell that? That's called success. <laughs> okay? Nowadays, everybody has a product line from uh, Britney Spears to Paris Hilton. Yeah, no, I actually bought Britney Spears perfume. It smelled like poor parenting and palimony. <laughs> well, we sent our moment. team out with a few samples of our new product line to see what the public's reaction would be. Let's check it out. People seem to like things that are specifically marketed to them. So we came up with some colognes that should appeal to every demographic, race, and lifestyle. Let's see if we're on to something. Take a whiff of that. That one's pretty good. You like this one? Yeah, I like okay. that one. This one's called horny. <laughs> and actually, you know what? A lot of the college guys seem to like this one. There you go. Yeah, would you say this is a scent for you? Yes, I would say that. OK, great. Yeah. All right, cool. What are you doing tonight? Oh, wow. Uh, when I'm done with this, I'm pretty much free. All right, now give I me my digits. All right, that sounds great. I want to give you a warning, though. Yeah. This is kind of my favorite scent. 
I could deal with that. A horny frat boy who didn't mind that I was bi-curious. What a shock. This is good. A lot of college girls like this one. It does smell good. Do you like that? Yeah. Do you guys like that a lot? This yeah. one's called bi-curious. Bi-curious. Yeah, and that's what I said. A lot of girls right after their freshman year of college like this one. It, it makes sense, I guess. Is there something specific? Maybe? No, I'm just saying, like, after college, I guess it would make sense. I don't know. Not for me, but for some people it might make sense. I approve of this one, yeah. Okay, great. This one is called Gangbang. Oh, wow. It's a really creative name. What does this signify to you if you saw this in a store? I would be curious to smell it. Like, you would? You'd be yeah. curious to smell Gangbang in the I've store? Never, I, I don't think I've ever smelled Gangbang before. No, until, you're until, a lucky until girl. Until now, though. I mean, I've smelled Gangbang now, so. Well, you can go back to school next year and let them know. Yeah. yeah. My name is Salt for all the people who don't know. Salt, S-A-L-T. Salt. There probably aren't salt. a lot of people like who salt, don't know. Salt and pepper, you know, with the real salt. salt. Yeah. Is that something you might like to wear? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Nice and fresh. All right. Well, this one is called fried chicken. Fried chicken? Wow. Yeah. That's something that appeals to you? Woo! That, like you know, honestly, chicken, we have though. done a lot of research. And would you wear that? Yeah, I wear fried chicken, yeah. This one is just out. Ooh, nice, nice and manly, right? That's, that's nice. Okay, this one's called parole. Ooh! <laughs> you like that one, Saul? <laughs> huh? Parole. Do you like oh, that? Oh, the name Parole. Oh, man, that's a tough name right there. I like the name Parole, yeah. though. I like that. Right? That's real. It's and would real. you tell a woman if she asked you, what are you wearing? I'm wearing Parole, yeah. There you go. I've never really been on Parole before, so I don't know. Not really. No, no. you're out illegally? Yeah, I'm, I'm legal, yeah. You like that? Yeah. OK. This one actually is one of our least expensive uh, colognes. It's called Section 8. Oh, you wow. like that? You know how a lot of people loving you on that one. You think? Well, not me, though, you know, but that's a lot of people no. don't like that name. No. Parole. It's, it's parole real. for you. I like parole. I want to thank you for being real with me. I want to thank you for being real with me, too. Thank you, doctor. OK, thank you. Thank you, scientists. It looks like our research was correct. Young black man, like fried chicken, Section 8. But what he really liked was parole. Although he said he's not out on parole, yeah, he is. <laughs> And that's all the time we have tonight. Thanks for watching. Whitney Cummings, I'm Tony Rock. Y'all be cool. And um, so do you like you like to wear cologne? Yeah, I like cologne. Take a whiff of that. This one's called STD. STD, what does that stand for? Uh, it stands for Sex Tonight, Dog. Ah, okay. Yeah, my company would be so happy if you would do a little on-air promotion for them. Yeah, of Just course. say how much you enjoy this. Yeah, of course, I'll do that. I like STD, and I'll give it to you. Thank you so much. Take that, take that, take that, yeah.